My check. <clears throat> and I think we're live. Just close a few windows. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful, mate. Hey, Carl, good evening. Patrick, welcome. Top Cat, James, Ian, Master CPU, CFQ, welcome. You beaut. Gary, Chris, Andy, good evening. Mr. Chris Johnson, Colin, good evening, good evening, good evening. Aye, aye, Captain. Patrick, welcome, mate. How's it going, How's it going, bud? Greg, Jay, mate. Uh, Adam, Isaac, welcome. Welcome from Australia. Uh, from uh, Alaska, welcome. Hello. What you cooking tonight? Hopefully, all the things. <laughs> Daniel, John, uh, Tezza, welcome. Uh, Tez, sorry, welcome. Uh, Pronto Tech, welcome, hello. Uh, Retro Magic. Daniel, did I say hello to you, mate? Uh, Dylan, Jake, Technic Nerd, Finks, Jamie C. Master CPU, so when are we going to hear about the PS5 fix that doesn't require a soldering iron, etc.? I need to do a voiceover for it. But uh, hopefully soon. Uh, SG, welcome. Yeah, all right, cool, mate. Welcome anyway. If you're sticking somewhere, they might not. Be, might they're not meant to be? Yep. I'm good, thanks, uh, Chris Favell. Hope you're well, mate. Uh, still haven't put my monitor back here. I need to rearrange everything. Uh, James, welcome, mate. Happy Monday. Happy Monday to yourself. Welcome, Thomas. Hello. Right, should we get to a fix? Should we get straight to a fix? Did you see the Series X on eBay with a large hole in the board? I didn't, no. Uh, let's have a look. Travis's mum. <laughs> oh dear. Let's have a look on eBay. Let's see what this is all about. Uh, condition, parts are not working. Let's just open a few of these. Uh... Have you got an item number for it, mate? Oh, you can't see it. Hmm. I'm not seeing it. Linked it on Discord. Let's have a look. In general. I haven't been on Discord today. Ah, oh, there it is. Let's have a look. Oh, it's in Canada. That's why. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that would explain why I haven't seen it. Damn. That's one hell of a big board. A uh, big hole in the board. But, that being said. That being said. You could potentially, you could potentially use it for an APU swap if the APU is not dead. It looks like they've cut out one of the VRMs, so it's probably, it's probably at 12 volts to the APU. Unfortunately, 
Uh, right, let me just get rid of this. There we go. Wolves Highway, how are you doing? Cal uh, calligraphy? Click like because this will be good. Cheers, mate. <coughs> Rave Dave, Dennis. Taco Fort, micro repairs. Colin? Whatever you're fixing, it's Travis's fault. I agree. Yeah, I got it, Jamie. Cheers, mate. Um, right, welcome to everyone. Uh, because there's too many, I've missed. I've missed too many messages now. I have PS4 shells white this version. If you want them, you can have them. I don't want nothing for them. So I'm not sure how, how much to go for. They go for about thirty quid on eBay, mate. Um, if you can sell them, sell them because I've got loads. Or give them to someone who may may need them. I will take them. I mean, I'll always take stuff for free, but um, I've got quite a few of them. So if you if you can sell them, sell them. I would. They go for about 30 quid on eBay. File Jacker, oi oi. Andrew, Mr. John Gray. Full belly chili chips and cheese. Nice. That sounds nice. Aim Boss. Carter. Uh, right. Welcome, everyone. I've missed too many messages. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right. Should we get to a fix? How does a fix sound? Start off with a piece five, shall we? Mr. Belvedere, good evening, sir. Oh, that's hot. Just like Travis's mom. <laughs> Any MacBooks to fix? Not tonight, no. Not tonight, because Herms have lost yet another parcel with batteries. So that's always nice. Fix it for reselling, good evening. And Joseph, thank you, mate. Uh, Evgeny, welcome. Good evening. Jody Jackson, welcome. Right, okay, so first on the docket, I've got a PS5. And guess what it's got? It's got no power. Um, so this one, the ticket actually says that the customer's tried a PSU. So. There we go. Customer Troid PSU. I don't know if you can read that. Focus, you bastard. Uh, it says Customer Troid PSU. You can take my word for it, I'm sure. Uh, oh, cheers, Iggy. Um, I hope you didn't suffer too much. What do you do with all your dead power supplies? Uh, usually keep them for parts, but I haven't got that many power supplies dead. Uh, I gave one to Steve B, and then I've only got one other one that's dead, I think. How could you lose a parcel they have tracking and a shipping label on? I don't know. I ordered some off eBay. Um, literally, they were supposed to come Friday. And the tracking still says, hang on, where's my, ba where's my batteries? Uh, yeah, 12th of October. Um, and the tracking, so I bought, what was it I bought? I bought two A1708 batteries and two A two A1708 and I think uh, two A1502 batteries for yeah so A1502 and A1708 And um, they say they've been dispatched. There's a tracking number. It's been sent by, you guessed it, Hermes. Dispatched on Thursday the 13th of October. In transit to Hermes. And it's disappeared. Completely disappeared. So...
If I go onto the Hermes website, no info. No info. So yeah, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Either way, I'm covered, so it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter, because either way, I'm covered. Hey, Scoot. Yeah, it's Hermes. Trust me, they... They know exactly how to... Uh, they know exactly how to lose stuff. <laughs> uh, Ryan, thank you, mate. Another milestone. Nice. Awesome, dude. Thank you for 17 months, mate. So yeah, this has got no power. When I did, when I originally switched this on, so if I switch that switch off and switch it back on, it makes three beeps on its own. I've come across this before. Um, there's two causes for this when I've come across this in the past. The first cause that I've found is, by the way, the customer's left the screws just taped to... Uh, well, I left some of the screws just taped to the top here. So, yeah, it's... I've had it be caused by the BIOS chip. And that's usually when you lose power during an update. And I've also had it caused by a shorted cap on the board as well. So, yeah, we'll see. I'll see if I can figure it out. Hopefully I can. Hello, you slag. Uh, no worries, time and tide. No worries, mate. How's it going, Mr. Wayne? Yeah, so I hope you're all doing well. I haven't been very active today. I've been a little bit easy dealing with uh, other things. Right, uh, Torx T3, that can go back, Torx T5 can go back, and P5 can go back. And I'll take the T8 and the Philips 0. That'll do, Donkey, that'll do. Hey, 19 months, dude, of wasting your money. Oh, is it like that easy? I might have to unjoin as a member for you then six months for uh for jamie i appreciate the support yeah so now i've got a pissed off customer because i've got no macbook batteries so yeah this is like a trip to China and buy loads of parts. Yep, I feel that, mate. I feel that. Uh, Ant, how's it going? Fife, how are you doing? Hope you're all good. Right, so we've got random screws dotted everywhere, which is nice. It's always nice to see. So now you can play a little game of find where they put the screws. Because if you think there's any kind of sequence, wrong. There's never a sequence when people just dot screws everywhere. Because they would not want my life to be easy, would they? Never a sequence. Okay, now that's odd because it shouldn't make the disk drive sound unless the um, disk drive's plugged in. So that's telling me that's probably going to be something wrong with the BIOS chip. Whether that's actually true or not, I don't know. Even worse than the thread the screws, yeah. Yeah, no power. Hey, Jason's here. 
Technique, 20 months, damn. Thank you, mate. Oh, I'm good, thanks, Travis. How are you, buddy? So hopefully I can uh, figure this one out quickly. I don't think the customer's actually taken the console itself apart. To be honest. And if they have, they haven't gone very far into it. Because they probably would have left the rest of the screws out. Hello from Southern California. Welcome. California. PS5 no power again. Yep. And then we've got a white light of death afterwards on a PS5. We're all missing a screw there. I think that's because of the power supply. Or rather, what the customer perceived was a power supply screw. Even though it's not. Far too many screws, yep. Yeah. The worst thing is when you realise that you're not able to fix it and then you've still got to put them all back in. Look, that's the worst part. Look, you don't mind when you know you're getting paid. But when you don't get paid for it and you've still got to waste another 10 minutes putting them back together. Look, that's the annoying thing. Oh wow, I'm getting cramp in my finger. Better for me. What's the deal with that? Why does that look off coloured? Cramp. That's better. We don't. Oh man. Ah, cramp in my hand. Wank is cramp. Okay, okay. <coughs> right. So I think the first thing to do is just check some power rails and see if we've got any missing rails anywhere. Definitely not secure enough now. Yeah, so I think check for some power rails first. And we get 12 volts. Do we get. 3 volts here, yep, 3.3, get 5 volts there, got 3.3 .3 there, 5 there, Three point three. We're not going to get 1.1 because we're not able to turn it on. 
Looking at two volts, five volts, five volts. That doesn't generate until we turn it on. Twelve, and then that doesn't generate till we turn it on either. So all of those are present, or at least all the ones that I'm able to test. Actually, I can technically test the 1.1. Well, maybe if I turn it off. And then turn it on. No, it doesn't generate it. Oh, right. Never mind. All right. Hey, Travis is here. Phil's face did it. Ha. <laughs> I think Phil has, Phil has me blocked, I don't blame him. Nah. I would never block you, Travis. How else am I meant to get in touch with your mum when she turns her phone off? <laughs> oh, dear. You love it. You love every second of it, Travis. Oi. What the... Okay. Okay. Weird. That single beep was very weird. Like the smash button, everyone. I agree. Stop it. Right then. Any damage to ports? Nope. Not that I can see. Okay. Let's pop this to one side a minute. Let's just uh, go to the code, go to the code store a second and get a brand new power supply from the code store. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Please come again. I appreciate your business. Brand new power supply. Courtesy of the coda. For the Xbox One S, I repaired with water damage. Um, let me write that down. Can you send me an invoice number, mate? Uh, could you just pop an invoice number in or DM it me on Discord? Is that so I can find it? Right, thank you. Um, I will call you first thing in the morning. In fact, all right, mate. I've just copied and pasted that so I've got it for in the morning, if that's alright, and I'll just give you a call first thing. Alright, cheers bud. On the hunt for a good bench power supply, I would recommend, let me get a link to it. Uh, 
Uh, I would recommend this one. I just popped a link in chat. Pavel, how's it going, mate? Better book a service for a PS4 once this one is sorted. No worries, mate. Can you make a video about diagnosing PS5 boards and where to check the voltages? Um, they're all different, mate. When you, I mean, the problem is you you but you go based on different symptoms, so it's difficult to make a video just on generalisation of where to check for voltages. Hello, Sarah. Uh, yeah, so I just posted a link to that power supply. That's the one that we all use. And now I am going to yeah, still doing exactly the same thing. Okay. Next step, we worked on a revision model. PS5 yet or the two new. If you're referring to the third revision, the uh, 1200s, then no, the two new. Uh, well, I don't think they're even out in this country yet. Right, next step, I'm just going to allow the caps to discharge um, and leave the battery unplugged as well at the same time, and that's effectively the same as taking the BIOS chip off. Got a PS5 for parts and it might, might be an interesting repair for you. The capacitor bank below the memory module seems to have exploded. Damn. Uh, you can send it over, mate, if you want me to have a look at it. You're more than welcome to. Coffee didn't last long. Nope. <laughs> that got annihilated, mate. Yeah, so I'm going to give that a minute just to discharge the caps. It's Sarah, dude. <laughs> I'll send an email. No worries, mate. Honestly, I'm absolutely terrible with email, though. Right. The reason I've done that is, number one, it's going to reset the BIOS if there's anything wrong with the BIOS. Because it's no longer going to have power. But another reason is that some of these... Capacitors on this side that I want to that I want to check next. They basically they give me weird readings when they're still charging it. So just remove all power. Uh, Discord would be good, yeah. Smoke time always, always. So yeah, I want to I want to test some readings in diode mode. So let's check F7501, or rather that bank of caps around there. 600 ohms. Don't think that's right. That seems very low to me, 600 ohms. Hmm. That does seem quite low. Uh, let's go into diode mode. Um, no, nah, 0.42. Yeah, that's that's probably okay. No point two on there is a little bit high. I'd expect to see around about 0 0.16 on the HDMI encoder. I'll tell you what, I'll pop under the scope so you guys can see better. I suppose I should stop being mean and let you guys see what I'm doing. Let, let you guys see where I'm testing. I guess that would be fair. Oh, Sarah, I told you you'd be on my uh, stream, didn't I? Ha. Huh.
Now I'm eating on the screen for people to see. Uh, no, because I'm, I'm well, I've, I've unplugged everything to be honest, and now nothing's working. <laughs> um, I can read out the readings though. Um, right, so in dial mode, we're getting 0.43 on there. Shut up, Phil. <laughs> so that seems normal. But then over here, around the HDMI encoder, I get 0.2. I would expect more like 0.16. I know that's not much of a difference, but every single other board that I've tested where the encoder is good has been 0.16. Yet, whoops, oh damn it. Now I've got to replace that cap. You son of a biatch. Well, never mind. It'll be all right. I'll replace it. Yeah, so everywhere else, when whenever I've tested these caps, there's been 0 0.16. So that seems a bit high. I'll bear it in mind. I will replace that cap, by the way. Doesn't look like we've had any damage to the HDMI port. Not point eight on the data lines. Yeah, that's that's normal. Not point sixty eight. Not point six. Not point fifty eight. Oh, shut up, Phil. Sign. <laughs> Do you write these normal readings somewhere or just remember them? Uh, just in my head, mate. What's up, Phyllis? Welcome, mate. How's it going, Ke uh, Kev? Yeah, just in my head, mate. I'll just keep them in my head. 0 0.77. 0 0.77. 0 0.32. Three, one, point four, point four three, point four three, point thirty two, point thirty eight. Yeah, I think the Wi Fi IC is most likely good, point forty three. Yeah, Wi Fi IC is ninety nine percent going to be good. Point nine is going to Point four, point three, two, point twenty three, thirty three, oh, thirty four, thirty two, do be do do do. Three two point thirty nine point thirty two on both those point four. Uh, yeah, everything so far checks out normal. No point, no eight. Yep. Okay. 
Yeah, everything checks out normal apart from the encoder. But I don't think I just I don't think I want to change that just yet. I think I want to try the easiest thing to try first would be a BIOS chip because I've never known this to be caused by the encoder. So I think the easiest thing to try would be a BIOS chip. Whoops, one camera. Uh, but now I've reset it, I'm just going to see what happens when I plug it in. No, it still does the same thing, so it's not going <clears> to... <throat> it's not going to power on, that's for certain. I can try powering it on, but it's not going to. Nope. Yeah, so the easiest thing would be to try a BIOS chip, I think. It's not going to turn on. So I'm not going to... I'm not going to replace the encoder. I mean, the encoder is giving me a little bit of a strange reading. Actually, first of all, I think I should check the... Um, the APU and just make sure we've got no liquid metal spilt anywhere I suppose that would be a good idea just to make sure it's not spilt down Just going to make sure. I know this is a bit dark. Unfortunately, there's not a lot I can do about that. It's just the angle of the board and stuff. Right, that seems okay there. I think if anywhere it's going to be on that side. Damn it. Yeah, if anywhere it will be on that side, but I'll check all the sides anyway, just in case. God damn it. Stop it. Nope, it's not an APU issue. Well, it's not a liquid metal issue. Nope. All right. Let's try just flicking a new What do you call it on it? A new Wimbon chip, just to see if that's the cause.
I have known it to be this, and unfortunately, when there's nothing to go on, like now, you just have to play the guessing game. Splitter splatter. We just have to play the guessing game, unfortunately. And that's just the way it is. You can copy the data off that. Uh, you could, but if it's a corrupted BIOS, if you copy the data, technically the BIOS, the new BIOS, will be corrupt. No. Technically, the new BIOS would be corrupt if you copy the data over. I'm just removing one from a donut. This contains the um, some of the system settings, um, so it's responsible for some of the system settings, but it's also responsible for some of the initial boot sequence. Um, what we found with these chips is that there's some sort of software-based boot sequence which seems to be stored inside the BIOS. So sometimes, sometimes we'll get a, a case where it'll be completely no power, uh, or sometimes a triple beep and then no power, like in this case, and it's down to a corrupted BIOS because of a incomplete update, you know, an interrupted update. So the easiest way to check is just to replace that chip temporarily and then just literally drop the power supply in and see if he does the triple beep. Which he doesn't. He doesn't do the triple beep. So now that I've changed that BIOS, we've no longer got triple beep, which is normal. Hmm. Still got no power though by the look of it. Oh, yes we have. That's turning on. That's turning on. That's corrupted BIOS. 
But what we find as well is sometimes, sometimes we can corrupt the bio, we can uh, take a corrupted BIOS chip off, leave it 10 minutes, put the BIOS chip back on once it's completed a uh, standard boot up sequence and it'll turn back on. You knock the cap off, that's fine for now. It's alright for now. I'm just going to turn this on, see if it actually boots up. But it's okay for now. But I, I felt that APU getting warm, that, that was literally booting up. But the cap, that's alright for now, it's, it's not important. Watch this. The foam's fine for now as well, the foam's alright, the foam's alright for now. Watch this. When it eventually wants to initialise, <laughs> and now it's a two second blood. Well, I'll be damned. No, it's not. <laughs> it's a corrupted fucking BIOS. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah, battery's fine. That's booting. And pairing on. <laughs> and so I don't I really hope leaving that upload um off for ten minutes you're gonna fix this. So the cause of this is going to be an interrupted update. It's literally going to be an uh, interrupted update. But that being said, now I've allowed it to boot up fully, that BIOS chip might work. Maybe. Now the PS5 will boot without uh, without a fan. But yeah, that's just confirmed that it is 100% an issue with the BIOS chip. I'm just hoping that leaving it turned off while I sort out everything what I've done, like knocking that cap off and whatnot, I'm just hoping that that fixes the, uh, or resets the BIOS, because otherwise we screwed. I'm all good, Spy. Thanks. How are you, mate? Well, yeah, let's just hope that that fixes it while... I, well, let's just hope that it resets it while I sort out this um, cap that I knocked off and also the... Um, what do you call it? The foam, liquid metal and BIOS battery. How's it going, David? Put the CMOS battery back in. Uh, I will once I put the BIOS battery, once I put the old BIOS back on. Until then, I'm going to leave it off. Come on, Mr. Pad. I know you're there. I know you're there, Mr. Pad. I saw you. 
you are there and you are going to return. Do you understand me? You are going to return. See, I can see ya. Damn, look at that mark I've left in there. <laughs> ah well, it's my calling card, that is. That's my calling card. See, told you that pad there, it's just being a dick. Right, let me just grab a uh, capacitor off there, or off, rather off a donor board. Will it not work with the BIOS chip you just installed? Yes, till it updates. Um, as soon as you update it, it's not going to work, unfortunately. Come on, Mr. Capacitor. What the hell? And there you decide you want to come off. There you go. Flow, solder, flow. Thank you. La di da da da. La di da da da. There we go. So there's that. Just clean up. La di da da da.
Oops. <laughs> Didn't actually scratch into it, by the way. <laughs> Camera's dancing around again. It'll be all right. Do be do do do. Ugh, what the hell? Definitely nowhere near enough liquid metal on there. Alright, let me get it from under the microscope because that's annoying. Nowhere near enough liquid metal on there. Where's my liquid metal at? Where's my liquid metal at? Damn thing. I hate liquid metal sometimes. Thank you for the Twitch sub, I appreciate that. Come on, Bond. Right, liquid metal, you are taking the piss. Doesn't want to bond. Oh no, Mr. Liquid Metal. I wouldn't want to be part of a PS5 neither. But you've got to be. It's your destiny. Or whatever you want to call it.
come on, stop being a little girl. Well, I'll sort that out in a minute. Yeah, I know, mate. It's this frigging liquid metal. Sometimes they're a pain in the backside. How did you end up there? Right, that's got it. Right, well, hopefully that BIOS chip's been off long enough now. <coughs> now that's sorted.
That'll do. That'll do ya. How did I take that out without removing that ribbon? That's a little bit annoying. Come on, you know you want to plug back in. Thank you. You are ever so kind. No triple beep. Hmm. Is that even plugged in? Also, no power. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. No power. And we do get three volts. Damn it. No power, but now no three volts. Uh, sorry, no, no power, but uh, no triple beep, but no power. So it's got rid of the triple beep issue. It hasn't got rid of the power issue. And I'm getting my power rails. God damn it. That sucks. Travis did it indeed. That sucks because that means that BIOS chip is probably knackered. <sighs> oh, you son of a bastard. Gone back to triple beeping. Fuck! That's why you need a flasher. 
What's the point in a flush? I've got, in fact, I've got a programmer. What is the point in a programmer, though? The problem is, no, if if the BIOS chip is actually corrupt, which it appears to be, then, unfortunately, when I program a new chip, it's going to be corrupt again. That's the problem. It's going to be corrupt when I program it onto a new chip. To copy over a corrupted BIOS. Exactly. Exactly. Exactly that, mate. That's the issue. That is the issue that we have. Bitch slap. I mean, the only thing I can really do is... Put another BIOS on. Not that BIOS, because it's... That's a BIOS off a digital board. So that BIOS is no good. Either way, that BIOS is no good. But I could try putting a BIOS on and just see if it updates. Maybe they've changed something in the update, I don't know. But that's the only thing I can do, I think. I can't put that BIOS on because that's off a digital console. So no matter what, I can't put that BIOS on. But I can try and find a disk edition BIOS Let's have a look what I've got lying around, shall we? Why don't I just use my flasher? Uh, because it, if I flash in, if I flash the BIOS onto it, I've got to flash the original BIOS. And flashing the original BIOS, all that's going to do is flash the already corrupted BIOS over. So it's basically back to square one. Unfortunately. Let's just see what boards I've got around. As far as I'm aware, I can't use the BIOS off a digital edition. Uh, I'm all good, thanks, Justin. I'm all good. Hope you're well, mate. Uh, I don't know if I've got a disc edition BIOS. don't have a disk edition BIOS at all. Mm. <laughs> Son of a bastard. I think the only thing to do... 
Yeah, but he's got a specific code on it though, Travis. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Luciano. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, so... I think the only thing I can do is just... I guess hit and hope. Put that BIOS chip that was working on there. Um, and just hope it works. Hope it lets me update the uh, system software. I can't confirm it complete until it actually runs through an update, unless it's got the original BIOS in it, and then I can. But yeah, it looks like I don't have a BIOS chip available. Apart from that one. Well, just need a good bin file. Uh, incorrect. Unfortunately, you are incorrect. Right, then I guess it's hit and hope with this BIOS chip that I've got here. That's the plan. So if it works, it'll turn into a digital version of Blu-ray. Uh, I don't know. I honestly don't know. As far as I'm aware, or rather, the last time I did this, it didn't work after an update. It didn't allow to go past an update. It came up with a random error code. Whether Sony have fixed that error code, I don't know. Can't hurt to try. We sort of experimenting, yeah. It can't hurt to try it. Evening, Martin. Um, I've already confirmed it's a BIOS chip, mate. <laughs> Cheers, Travis. Uh, yes, I've already confirmed it's the BIOS chip, mate. I've already um, installed this specific BIOS chip on here and confirmed it's powered on and booted up. Unfortunately. So, yeah, if this don't work, then it sucks to be the customer and me. Because it means I don't get paid and the customer don't get a PS5. Sony really need to do something. They need to 
allow us to replace these chips. Like if this isn't replaceable, they need to do something to allow us to replace it. Like it, honestly, they they're locking these consoles down far too fucking much. Way too much. Uh, I'll tell you what we can do. We can grab the disk drive and plug that in because then we can test everything properly. They need to do something in software to stop it from uh, causing us to have these issues. Like, I mean, I understand if the BIOS is corrupt because it does contain some of the boot sequence. I understand it not working, but just don't stop us from fucking replacing it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Sony? Don't stop us from replacing the damn thing, assholes, jackasses, mofos. Do something, Sony. I bet you actually care about your customers' wallets in a time where we need to care about our wallets. Sony. <sighs> How does that sound, Sony? Hey, nine months. Care to comment, Sony? No? I'm losing my mind. <laughs> no, beep, 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 beep. Power on, you bastard. See, this is the weird thing as well, is it don't... It's not powering straight on. Wait, what? What's the deal here? Why are you not powering on now? Hmm. Don't be a dick all your life. Don't be a dick all your life. The bonehead chipped two dollars and twenty three cents. Travis and mum is so ugly, Bill Cosby slit her a red ball. Keep up the good work, Ginger Legend. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. <laughs> What's going on with this? Why is it not pairing on at all now? Like, it was pairing on just. What is the deal? He said Travis's mommy is so ugly. Someone gave her a Red Bull. Why is it now not working at all? Pair it on with this BIOS chip. Come on, you pair it on with this BIOS chip once. Sensitive, but when you knock that chip off, the console came on. Maybe it's a HDMI encoder. No, it's not. Definitely not, mate. It's 
It's just strange how now it's not working. Hmm. Let me just have a look at my boot sequence. Um, actually, let me check this BIOS chip first, make sure I soldered it right, because I didn't use the microscope. I should have soldered it right. It's on there. It's definitely on there. Hmm. Alright, let me have a look at my boot sequence. See if I've got any kind of abnormal sequence. I need my bench supply for that though. No, it's it's definitely not a fuse. Um, well, it shouldn't be a fuse. It just seems like it's no longer got the boot sequence. So I'll pop 12 volts in and just see, like 12 volts with the bench supply and just see what happens. Hmm, it's hanging on the boot sequence. It's hanging on 276 milliamps. All right, so we've got a delayed boot sequence. Yeah, so delay boot sequence with that BIOS chip now. That's rather odd. No, it's not upside down. It's definitely on the right way. Definitely on the right way. Um, try another BIOS chip just in case that one is a little bit <coughs> iffy. I think.
Do 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 do. Bear with me. I'm just gonna grab another board. <clears throat> Try again. I wonder if I've got liquid metal somewhere where I shouldn't have done. Have I got liquid metal somewhere where I shouldn't have done? Weirdo, you're not even getting the three beeps. Well, I wouldn't expect to get the three beeps with a different BIOS because these biases should be okay. But what's weird to me is that it's not working with another BIOS now, and it was. It was working fine. Let me just make sure I've got no liquid metal where I shouldn't have done. Ugh, IPA all over the bloody board, though. Hmm, there's a tad there, but that wouldn't cause it. Tipped 
Cheers, Bonehead. Thanks, mate. Oh, God. Sorry, Travis, but the bot don't lie, mate. Well, I'm not seeing any liquid metal. Anywhere there shouldn't have been any. Well, not now I'm not. There was a little bit, but... Hmm. Actually, he's there. He's there. He might have. Oh, it might have found its way under. It might have found its way under. It's possible. Damn it. Damn it. I might just take the plastic off, to be honest with you. Um, and I'll just coat it in conformal coating. It's probably best. That way then I know. Yeah, if I remove the if I remove the sticker and coat it with conform or coating later on then at least then that way then I'll know for sure. My well, hot air was at 160 then, by the way. Not a dangerous temp. No, it's not liquid metal. That's not the cause. Wouldn't appear to be anyway. It is a teeny bit there, but that's not shorting anything out. It's a tiny bit ended up there.
Hmm. Liquid metal wants to be a bitch again. Yeah, so I don't think it's a liquid metal. Rather a couple of little specks, but... I think that these little specks here are what's come up off my hand literally in the past few minutes and they're not sorting anything out Yeah, they're not sorting anything out. Still going to clean it though. No, nah, don't think I can get it any cleaner than that. But they're inside. There's a couple of little specks inside wires, but don't think it's going to get any cleaner than that, and it's not going to affect it anyway. So, meh. Yeah. Huh? 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 Right, that's beeping and turning on. Now I think I should put the original BIOS back on quickly. I think I should put the original BIOS back on and just try it with the original BIOS. So 
surely liquid metal wasn't shorting stuff out there. Surely liquid metal wasn't shorting stuff out. Ah, you son of a... Now we've got the triple B. Yeah, it's not going to turn on. <laughs> it's not going to turn on with that BIOS it's, it's not going to allow me to reuse that BIOS I'm going to have to try a different BIOS ah <sighs> doesn't love you tonight. <laughs> I'm just concentrating. I'm going to have to try a different BIOS. This is going to suck. Yeah, the BIOS chip, I think he's completely wamboozled. I don't think there's anything I can do with that BIOS chip at all. Which is going to suck. If I can't use this and I can't update it, it's going to suck. It is going to suck. No triple beep. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. And now no power again, really. Really? You're gonna do me like that? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna scream.
Yeah, I haven't knocked anything. I can solder without uh, a microscope. I generally only use the microscope for the uh, for the camera. Like, this just don't make any freaking sense. Just doesn't make any freaking sense. Just don't make no sense. You suck, PS5. This is the one that was working to start with. What's the point of a chat? Um, well, I can't see it when I've got my face down on the board. I do reply when I see them. No, I've put the BIOS battery in, mate. When I see the chat, I reply. But I have to turn my head to see the chat. No, something else is going on here. Something weird is going on. I don't think it's just the BIOS. Check the BIOS battery. It's not the BIOS battery. It can't be the BIOS battery. It would power on without the battery. The, the battery, it doesn't need the battery to put the BIOS battery to power on. It powered on just literally a couple of minutes ago. Hang on. It might have spilt liquid metal again. It might have spilt liquid metal again.
I'm going to need to protect that APU, to be honest. I need to conform or coat that APU and just keep it safe before I do anything else. Because there's liquid metal spilling on the APU again. <laughs> there's liquid metal spilling on the APU. It's going to have to be conform or coated before I do anything else. At least if I can, at least if I coat this now, I know a hundred percent that it's safe. This is why I hate liquid metal. But then again when used properly when used properly you don't get an issue Alright. Oh, I need a uh... USB C cable. I 
Let's cure this with UV light. Uh, I hate this thing. UV cured nail polish. Yeah, you can do, yeah. You can use nail polish, yeah. Uh, UV curable nail polish or whatever the hell it is. <laughs> yeah, it is an option. I don't want to put too much heat near that. And there you go. She's protected. And still not turning on. And still not turning on. I think it's give up time with this. I think there's something else going on. Add pressure to the APU. Nah, it's not that, mate. It's not that. Definitely not. It was powering on. It, I've, had, I've had this boot up. Something else weird is going on. It's definitely something to do with the BIOS. I don't know what. I think he's give up time on this. I think I've spent too long on it. To be honest. Take the battery out. Don't let it beat you. The thing is, I've got other things to do. This is the problem. Um, as far as I'm aware, the BIOS needs to be paired. Mm. 
Nope. It's not. It's not going to be the battery anyway because it 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 can boot up without a battery. But if I put this original BIOS back on now, then chances are it's going to give me the triple beep again, and yeah. Yeah, triple beep. No, it's not the cap, mate. Hundred percent, it's not that cap. Hundred percent, it's not that cap. That much I can guarantee. No, it's time to. Hey, thank you for the sub. I appreciate that. I think it's time to give up on this. It's, I don't think I have a working BIOS. If that's causing that, then I don't think I have a working BIOS. Maybe my BIOS is all bad and I've just somehow got lucky the first time. Um, yeah. And even if I do get a working BIOS, is it going to actually work? Beep, beep, beep. Yep. They're all different. Yeah, I know they are, mate, yeah. Unless Sony have done something recently. Hold it in. It's not going to allow nothing. I can try and hold it in, but... No. No. Unfortunately not. Because it's missing the boot sequence. It's missing the boot sequence. Can I find... If the Eagle Super chatted $5.57, well, it's nice to see the amount of effort you went to fix this PS5 enjoying the stream. Thank you, Iggy. I appreciate that. Can I help Steve B get one more sub? I can. <laughs> yeah, let's get Steve B to what to 500 subs. Actually, let's get him to more than five. I'm going to post a link to his channel. There we go. Post a link to Steve's channel. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Thank you, Wiggy, for the uh, super chat, mate. I, I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Uh, there you go, Steve. We don't. Yeah. I think it's time to give up for now on this. I'm not going to completely give up on it, which means I'm not going to put it back together yet. Uh, these consoles are not going to be going back until Wednesday. So I'm not going to completely give up. I'm just going to put everything to one side for now. But that sucks. If I can't get this to actually work, then it's going to suck. Especially considering I know exactly what the issue is. Right. 
like I know the issue is down to the BIOS. The problem is fixing it. So at the minute it's gonna be not fixed but not unfixable. You're not unfixable. So I hope that makes sense. Um I'll have a little play around and uh yeah. No matter what, I'll post it as a video. That sucks, man. It really does. But I think I've just spent too long on it tonight. I need to work on something else. And get something else in the queue. Can anybody please tell me if my AliExpress link for UV lamp got through? It wouldn't have done, mate. Um, yeah, he would have blocked it. It's, I've got links blocked, unfortunately. Right. So, yeah. Not fixed yet. Don't know if I can fix it. I hope I can fix it, but if I can't, I can't. If I can, I can. It's unfortunately just one of them things. But I think it just needs a bit more time off camera for me to play around. And then if I manage to figure it out, then I'll, uh, you know, I'll update it in a video. If not, then I'll update it in a video. <laughs> So either way, I'll update it in a video, I guess. Never mind. Right. One moment. Let me just pop this to one side. Customer's ticket, customer's base or top case thingy. There you go. Alright, I'm going to go grab a cup of coffee and another job, guys and girls. I'll be back in a minute.
And I'm back. Right. Hello. Ellis, how's it going, mate? What what could I do for you, buddy? Uh, <coughs> how's it going, mate? Hey, Michael Major here. Welcome, mate. Been a while. What's on the TV? Oh, I've just told Sarah to keep turning it down. It's not the TV. It's YouTube. A decent multimeter to buy. Um, one second, I'll grab you a link to one. Un moment, señor. Gracias. There you go. Been trolling your chat for an hour. <laughs> links, links to everything you have. <laughs> All right, let's work on something. Come on, let's fix something tonight instead of getting trolled by PS5s that work temporarily and then stop working. Fucking pain in the arse things. Right, I've got two switch. Uh, sorry. A switch light board, a normal switch board, and a full switch light. All been sent by one customer. Uh, I got it from AliExpress, mate. They're about nine pound. Um, for those uh, UV lamps. Uh, one moment, and I shall grab a link to that as well. Uh, well, I would if I could find it. Man, search sucks on this on AliExpress. There you go. Yeah, it really does. It really does suck. Right, okay, yeah. Anyway, we've got... I'll post a link to that UV lamp, by the way. That's not an affiliate link. Um, so we've got a normal switch board, and then we've got a switch light board and a complete switch. Don't know what's wrong with any of them, but hopefully we can find out. So let's just... Uh, See what happens on the ammeter. I need a battery before I can do anything. Let's just see what happens when it's plugged into. Oh, that's. Okay, that's got no. <laughs> that's got no charge port on it. Let's just have a look at the board then and just see what's actually gone on with it. Oh. It's been worked on a little bit. Hmm. Ooh, that's had a lot of burning. All right. Let's just see what the deal is. These are your personal ones. No, these have been these have been sent in. All right, this has had a fair bit of work done to it, so I need to do some tests. What that UV lamp? Yeah, no worries, mate. No worries. Pretty good UV lamps. Right. Continuity mode. Now shorts. Fifty. 
fuse is good. Oh, a little bit of knock, knocky knocky around here. Yeah, she's going to take a fair bit of work just to get it to a point where I can test it. Hmm. Yeah, going to be a bit of work needed to this just to be able to test. Connecting box switch lights. Ordered one to fill. Uh, ordered one what, mate? Right, um... Oh, you got to be kidding me, I've run out of space. Damn it. Hang on. All right, let me just move some files a second. There we go. Right. I think I'm going to remove this chip and put it back on. Yeah, solder joints are not good on that at all. Get rid of them also. I got rid of them because they have obviously had work done and I don't know if they're the correct components because they've obviously been at least not So it's easier just to replace them all. So 
a lot easier to just replace them. So we just grab a donor board. So I've dropped my airflow to 30%. I'm just at 480 degrees here because I'm not working around, or I'm not working with a sensitive component like a chip. Just literally gonna replace these components. Damn it. Ping that with a freaking cap off. Sorry, not cap resistor. Michael! Ah! Right, got ya. Thank you for the super chat, mate, as well. I wonder what you meant, to be honest. I'm literally only putting that cap there because then people can't say, oh, you missed the cap. <laughs> Even though it wouldn't stop it pairing on. Oh, I just need one more resistor off another board. One more resistor. Damn it! Stop being such a son of a biatch. What is it with that one resistor? I just don't want to go on the board.
You will take a resistor and you will like it. Understand? Right, what's missing from there? Right. Right, sorry I'm a little bit silent at the minute, I'm just uh, focusing on cleaning this up. Nice. So we've got some renewals, I think. Yep. A few renewals. Might as well drink my coffee while that's going through. Just bear with that a minute. Buffalo Phil. Ha! <laughs> 
since the test he became a member. Any more? I think that's it. I appreciate that, guys. You wish I had a mate, Jarvis. Right, on to the next one. Need a port. grab a donor port well I will when I figure out where they are ah there they are how's it going Northern Rebel Heat up from the bottom.
close enough. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's just see if we get any activity on the charger before I do anything. We do. We get 15 volts at zero amps. Do we get charging activity? Do we get charging activity? We do not. We get zero amps. On both sides of the port. Lovely. Absolutely nada. Right. I'll just try that with another battery. Absolutely nada. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Of course we get nothing. Because why would we get something? That wouldn't be any fun, would it? <coughs> um, I'm not buying... A lot at all at the minute, Steve. I need to be careful what I buy. Um, I need to keep money tight. I'm going to be honest. I need to keep money tight just because I'm going to be moving soon. So I need to keep money very, very tight. Um, hmm. Really not sure what could cause this, to be honest. Does this guy in it for fix anything? Eat shit, you prick. Hmm. Let me just, um, let me just clean up this area.
Hmm, that's not level. That's not quite level. That's very slightly off. Very, very slightly off. Do we do do do? Damn it. Just knocked a couple of caps off. Well, that's not going to stop it from charging, so I'm going to ignore that for a minute. It'll make my life easier in terms of soldering the pads anyway. Yeah, that's not going to stop it charging, so I'm going to ignore it for now. Um, don't think I should worry too much. No change. No change. No, these was uh, those things I was just knocked off with caps. Yeah, there's a couple of caps. Resistors would stop it charging, but not caps. All caps are going to do is just give it dirty power. That's pretty much it. I'm not seeing anything else wrong with that circuit, though. Um. Do we do do do? Everything else appears okay. 
So I think. I think. I need to change the. Uh, I don't. I don't think. Actually, let me just see if I get voltage on. BQ, at all. Um. Let's have a look. Let's just see if I get anything at all on BQ. And BQ is the um, battery management IC. 0 0.8 volts. Hmm. What do I get without the battery plugged in? Zero point eight. It's not getting through to BQ by the look of it. Uh, yeah, it's not getting through to BQ by the look of that. My battery's at two point four. Fifteen volts. Four point forty four. Okay, that's a bit of a weird reading. Hmm. Whoa, what's going on tomorrow? What's going on with my camera? Damn it. How am I on the microscope camera? Ah, <sighs> sorry guys. Sorry guys. That's just is expensive. <sighs> All I'm doing is testing... Testing caps around here, but it's, this is weird. I'm getting two point seventy eight there. I'm getting zero point eight here. Hmm. What am I meant to be getting? Three point two five. Oops. I'm meant to be getting 15 volts on that car. What am I getting on there? Nothing. So I think we've got an issue with M92 then. I'm not getting nothing. 
so nothing's coming through there at all. So let's flick a new M92 on. Yeah, have a good night if you're leaving. Thank you. I appreciate it. Right, before I do anything, before I do anything, let's just grab some replacement components. There you go. And then I'll grab a new M92. I know that's not straight. I'm trying to get rid of the blob. Let's 
get rid of the majority of the excess solder and then I can solder it properly. Damn it. You're supposed to go into place with surface tension. Not sit there like a dickhead and pretend you don't want to move. My soldering is terrible tonight, guys. My soldering is terrible tonight.
Oh, it's all the pads. Wow, those pads are really bad. Real bad. I just don't want to take to the solder. Hmm. We've actually got activity now, though. I think there's salt enough solder underneath it, but we've actually got activity now. So I'm getting 15 volts and I am getting some current draw now. So we get like 0 0.08 and then it drops down, which is kind of normal. Still no life though. Is it going to drop down? No, it's not. I think that's charging. I think that might be charging. I think that might be charging. Let's just try a different battery, see if we get a different reading. Boom, 0 0.48, look. Hang on. What the? Okay, that was strange. Hmm. That was very strange. Let's just see if we get any life from it. To be honest though, with the fact that it's been burnt around that ram I see, I might end up having to replace that top ram I see. Because it had a lot of heat in that area. So it could have um, kind of floated the ram. Well, we get a backlight. I don't know if you can see that. But we get a backlight. No display. Well, that's probably just the way the display is plugged in. Or it could be a faulty display, I don't know. But we get a backlight for sure. Ha <laughs> boom. Winner. Winner, winner. Right. Uh, I need that to charge. So... Let's have a look at this one. Oh, good job, you prick. Ha! <laughs> Oh, come on. Really? Yeah, don't think I can work on this one. Not tonight. I haven't got one of them connectors. It's got no charge port and no connector on there. I haven't got any of them connectors. Not to hand, not immediately. So I can't work on that one. Uh, that's annoying. Yeah, so that one's going to have to be sidelined. What's going on with this one? 
You have an old edge switch. Uh, I've got one, yeah. Not touching it for parts, though. All right, 0.48. Uh, no display. Okay. 0.48, no display on that one. Well, that's actually booted. Yeah. That's actually just booted up. Um, just got no display on it. All right. Well... That needs to charge, so I'm going to let that charge. Oi, eat shit, stop it. <laughs> That's just the display. Um, all right, so that board I've just fixed needs to charge. So... Let's allow it to charge, shall we? While I have a look at this one. Here's the same connector for daughter board. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm not going to butcher it for parts though, mate. No, thank you. Right, Y0. Because I said so. <laughs> Phillips double zero. No screw, no screw, no screw, no screw. Well, that was easy. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Right. This one's had prior work as well. See one thing wrong for a start. That resistor there. Hmm. And also the soldering. Soldering is not good on that connector. So this could explain the black screen. Ah, no, I know what it is. It hasn't got the perfect amount of thermal paste. Right.
There we go. Okay. It's going to have to be hovered over there. Right. So this one, it looks like another repair attempt gone wrong. Looks like a repair attempt gone wrong. What's up, Bray? How's it going? So I've got to be careful with this because there are some sensitive components underneath. But this connector's got to come off. And that release that. There you go. Hey, Mark. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you, mate. Thank you for the dono. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well, buddy. Yeah, this might be another one which needs a bit of a rebuild, and I haven't got any donor boards to hand right now. Missing a component here as well. Missing a few components to be honest. I don't know if there's even meant to be a component there. 
doesn't appear as though one of those pads were tinned. I don't know. I'm not convinced there's meant to be one there. Let's have a look on that. Hang on, actually. Let me see if I've got a board. I don't think I have for... Oh, hang on. Hang on. Bingo. Alright, what's meant to be here? But I'm going to have one just above. Okay, I can think I can see what we meant to have. Right, I know this is a little bit blurred. I'm not going to keep adjusting the uh, microscope. Oh, where's my relay? Where's that connector gone? Ah, oh, damn it, the connector's disappeared. Ah, oh, I've got it, never mind. Got it. Damn it. No, that's the wrong one. It's really awkward because I'm balancing on the um, edge of the table. I've got no, no support at all. Ah, fucking eat shit. Cap's gone.
Right, from what I can tell, that's just going to be a bypass cap, so I'm not majorly concerned about it right now. <laughs> yeah, this area is horrible to work with. It's absolutely horrible. Am I missing a component down there? Yes, I am. I'm missing a resistor. Any more? Apart from that one. Ooh. Not great on these uh, components. To be honest, not great soldering jobs. No offense to whoever done it, but it's not great. It's not great. Okay. <laughs> Never employ friends. <laughs> 
Never employ family either. Okay. I think that's uh, acceptable. I think it's acceptable. Right, that's my donor board. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, buddy. So I'm talking about. Let's get it, let's go. Yeah, boy. Let's get it, let's go. Huzzah! This one's acting rather weird. Almost like if he's trying to pair up and then just <laughs> shutting off and won't charge when he's paired on, which is rather weird. I have never, ever come across that ever in my life and I do not know what's going to be causing that another doesn't bite the dust well this one bites the dust that's for sure because that is something I have never ever ever seen in my life ginger strikes again so I think this is this one is probably going to be a to be continued to be honest because I don't know. 
I've never come across one that will only charge when it's powered off. That's really weird. Um, probably going to be something to do with one of the Max ICs, but I haven't got any, so I can't even try them. <laughs> Another fix. Well, yeah, we got this one fixed anyway. That one works. So, I'm happy with that result anyway. Well, this is missing half the stuff. So, I need to speak to the customer on this. Because it's missing half the stuff of it. So, what do I do with it? Do I just send it back in bits, or what? That's your special soldering. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, it is 2am, so I don't think I'm going to do another one tonight now. I'm a little bit tired. I'm not fully. Oh, I'm not fully with it. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I think it's computer booter streaming. Um, let's have a look. He is not. Never mind. All right, well, yeah, I'm going to leave it there because I'm not fully with it, I'll be honest. Um, I'm a little bit tired. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I don't know what the deal is with this. I've never come across that. But, you know, I'll uh, I'll try and figure it out. Maybe, uh, oh, maybe tomorrow on Twitch, but we've got one of them working. The other one, I need to sort out a donor board. That's got one of them connectors on it. Um, other than that, shame on that PS5. But we'll see if we can figure it out. But yeah, thank you all. I appreciate it. I appreciate the support as always. Um, catch me on Twitch tomorrow. Twitch.tv forward slash The Code of 2015. I have seen it just now. <laughs> So yeah, good night everyone. Thank you all for hanging out. I really appreciate it. I'll uh I'll see you all in the next one. <laughs>